Hi guys, welcome to Paranormal Real Estate. Today we're in a location that is uh, private, so, uh, but this is my niece Kayla, and this is her residence at the moment, and she's had some paranormal experiences that she's not sure is a haunting or just, you know, things that you can't explain. So, yeah, we decided to do this over here. This is kind of like a last minute decision. Kayla, you can say hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so this is first time she's been on uh, our channel, which is really cool that, you know, we finally get to start doing some family, maybe some friends too. But long, long ago, about 15 years ago, I used to caretake a lady that lived here. She did pass away in the home, so I was telling her and my mom about this. They didn't really know much about it. So it might explain some of the things that have happened, huh? Mm -hmm. So recently she had something happen that she'd like to share with everyone. Yeah, okay, so when we first moved here, it was like my second or third day and my grandma was at her boyfriend's and I was sleeping and it was around like 2, two 3 a.m. and all of a sudden I hear like a drill, like on the window and this these windows on the are window it was on like the other side of you guys really high like, off the ground like that's really strange really weird and then there was one time where this chair right here i don't know if you guys could see it but i had my boyfriend's shoes on the side on both sides and there was something in the middle in the middle of the chair well one night we were just sitting there on the bed and it flew it flew across the room. It was like not just like, like it didn't no, just it didn't fall just off the fall, chair. and it was in the middle of the chair, and it flew. And the wild thing is, the lady that I used to take care of, uh, when she was nonverbal, she had Alzheimer's, and so she'd get frustrated and, and upset, she would throw things. And so when she told me that, I kind of thought, hmm, I wonder if it is her. Uh, so we are gonna in a, in a little while. We're gonna do the necrophilia. Um, app. Profonic. Yeah, um, to show you guys a little bit, see if we can interact with her too and, and do some K2 readings because over in this area over here is a chair that she um, used to sit in uh, and this is like 15 years ago um, and no one's you know allowed to sit in it and um, that was her chair and so her yeah, son really you. you know keeps a hold of her and so she may still be here. We might um, communicate with her. But yeah, she she's also had another thing I think happen too. Didn't you have something you were saying on the bed or something? Mm -hmm. Or you 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 hear footsteps sometimes and you're sleeping and there's no one here. Yeah, knocking on the walls sometimes, like by my bed too. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's creepy. Boom, we're back already. Okay, so this is uh, my mother here, and uh, Kayla again, right here in the hat. And we just wanted to, I, I wanted to explain to you guys that my, my father passed away when I was pretty young, I think like 24, in the year of 2000. And so ever since he's passed away, he was a pretty strong presence when he was alive. So he was one of those like non-verbal, just look at you with his eyes and you knew what he was talking about uh, kind of man. So very strong presence. So when he passed away, um, he would come to my mom quite often in the dreams. In fact, it would be sometimes the same night he would be in her dream, my dream, and um, another relative that we have, her dream. Um, Kirsten, right? Kirsten sometimes would call us and say that my dad had been in her dream that night. Yeah, he, it was crazy. Like the first three years, not only did my mom could smell his cologne a lot, I could too. Like uh, I had one experience where I woke up and my room just smelled like his Old Spice smell cologne. And that, that, I knew right then it was him. My mom also has woken up to where the bed has like, like as just like someone has sat down next to her and she just knew it was Rocco. That was my dad's name. So yeah. Yeah, Kit, uh, actually Kayla has a, I a actually, little story. Yeah, I actually do, okay. 
So I've seen pictures of my Papa Rocco, but I've never met him in real life. And one night I had a dream about him and okay so I was sleeping and in my dream I got up and I went to my living room and there was this guy and I've know I I know I've seen him before and he goes it's okay it's Papa Rocco you don't have to worry well next the next day I tell my grandma and she goes you know what it's his birthday he was born on Friday the 13th. Wow, that's right. Yeah. In fact, um, the first, um, and when he died, it was a year later, um, on his birthday, uh, my daughter's father and I were going on a drive through Petaluma, California, and I saw this sign that said, um, uh, psychic or medium readings. So my husband's like, okay, you go, you go. I'm gonna pay for you to go. I want you to, you know, talk about your dad or whatnot. So I go in there. First time I'd ever gone into a medium or psychic. And sat down with the man, and uh, he started doing my cards. And he's like, oh, I just keep getting a really strong R name, a male presence that is in the room with us right now. And I just sat quiet because I was like, this guy could be a fake, so I'm not gonna give him any info. And I was thinking, well, because my daughter's father's name starts with an R also as my dad. So um, he's doing my cards and he's like, you know, telling me how many kids I'm going to have, which was one, which came out true. Um, and that around this age, I was going to have some health problems, which is also true. I'm kind of going through. So, um, yeah, the, so he finally at the end of the tarot reading, um, he says, okay, this person is really trying to get through to you. Um, and he's got an unusual name, like Rock. Hmm. And I, I got goosebumps. Just, I mean, you could see my goosebumps crawling up my arms. I was like, yeah? And he's like, so what does this mean? I said, well, today is my dad's birthday and his name is Rocco. Yeah, we used to call him Rock. Yeah, yeah. and um, it made me a believer. You know. What about with my cousin Kendra when she was a baby too? Yeah, my daughter was three, about three at the time, and my mom and I and my husband, we all got home after the funeral and the whole um, really, really uh, horrible time we all went through. And so I put my daughter in the bath, and I had like the door open, we're sitting in the living room, and I can hear her playing. And we all looked at each other because we kept thinking, we heard her say, Papa Rocco, um, which she'd only met him like once and spent the day with him. So I went into the bathroom. I'm like, should I go in there? What's going on? So <laughs> I was, we were all scared. Uh, so I go in there and she goes, oh, Papa Rocco, your hands are so soft. And my mom's like, Rocco, you get your hands out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, well, because it was just like I thought creepy. she was just pretending and, yeah. you know, but she was serious. Yeah. She was very serious. It, it was, that, that was there wild. Was another one. It was scary. I remember you guys. Yeah, on the ride home. Yeah. With the sun uh, was It was a beautiful setting. sunset. And my, my dad liked to paint and draw and stuff. And, um. My daughter is like three, you know, like I was saying, and she goes, oh, look, Papa Rocco drew me a picture. And she kept pointing to the sky. Yeah. And that was pretty, that was It beautiful. was beautiful. It really was. Um, at yeah. the time, that was his only grandkid. Now he's got a lot of them. Yeah. And it ended up all being girls, pretty much, except for yeah. my sister, Jenny. She has a couple boys, and mm -hmm. boy, he would have just loved that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, he doesn't seem, now it's been so long, um, you know, on the, his um, death date and his birthday, we think about him a lot. A lot. Um, and sometimes, I, you know, he didn't really deserve all the, <laughs> the sadness that I went through, or I think all of us went through. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that on the other side, and it goes for any of you that might have lost someone, on the other side, I think they, um, they make amends. Yeah. And they, they they realize what what they may need to fix next time they have a go, you know, at the cycle if that's how it, how it is. But um, yeah. So this house is 
uh, it's got a presence. I have felt it the whole time where you're here. Um, so we're going to show you guys um, where she used to sit and um, her china cabinet and do the, um, what's that box called, Brandon? So the app? Box. Macrophonic. Yes. Macrophonic. And that's a cool app. You guys got to download that one. It's about nine ninety nine. But uh, all the YouTubers are trying it out and uh, they're correct. It works really well. It was nice seeing y'all. Peace. See you in a minute. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we're over here with the Anthony's chair that's been uh, reserved for the deceased. Um, so I have a K2 EMF detector uh, app and this one works really, really good. Um, so sorry guys if I'm talking a little low because there's people in the home that's sleeping. So I'm going to do the EMF first on the chair. Alright, I, like, I don't think there is anything. So this china cabinet here is with, um, all her things. So I'm going to do a little bit here, this teapot. Proxy off. Exactly. I'm just getting uh, even better reading. Oh yeah? That's why? Well, the hmm. proxy is just uh, another sensor, that's all. Alright. You can turn it back on if you want. But it's just another sensor. The EMS is... So let's now do... Um, let's do the spirit box. Okay. Okay. Let's see Hey guys, so now we are going to do a little session of um, Spirit Box through the Necro. Um, and here we go. We've already gotten a hello as soon as I throw it on. We can turn it over down now. Good evening. Uh, is there anyone here with us tonight that could use this um, device to talk to us in spirit? Was this your home? Did you live here? Yes or no, you can answer. No. Kayla, we want you to answer or ask some questions to you since you live here. Yeah. Spirit? Mm -hmm. It's like a person. It's treated like a person. Like a person. Is there anybody here that wants to talk through this device? Disconnect. 
Well, how's it going on the other side, on the afterlife? We only allow love, peace, and joy. So if you have bad intentions, you're not welcome in this uh, environment. What is your name? Barb? Barb? I am Barb. Well, hello, Barb. Are you the one that uh, resides in this home? Shit. I heard him running. Running. Oh, 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 oh. God, some of them yell at us. Do you like having my niece and my mother living here? Um, I'm cute. I'm cute. Of course. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Well, what's up? <laughs> Talk to us. Not. 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 Are you German? <laughs> Russian? <laughs> Are you good? Have you met God? We also have another question, spirits. Um, are there? Is it true that there's aliens? Yes. 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 Have you seen the light? Well. That was, that was creepy. Real. Real? Uh, Alright, now we're doing another app. Um, it's just like a white noise app. Um, we just got... A... Hi. Hi, do you have a message for us? This one's, this one's a really good app. Try it. I've gotten a lot with it. Talk to it. What is your name? Spirit, can you tell us? Uh, Joe. Joe? Uh, can you talk through right. this box and give us your name? It's like spelling out something. Explain. Explain to it how it works. Explain to the you spirit. use this device here, spirit, and uh, manipulate yep. it, the uh, radio waves, and talk into it. Yep. Hello, spirit. Do you reside in this house, or are you from somewhere else nearby? Uh, house? Uh, Is there an Anne that lives here by chance? Yeah. Sound like an old lady. Wow. Yes. Very cool. Alright. Alright, guys. We're going to cancel out. And. And uh, say our goodbyes. Um, hopefully, my beautiful niece here will be able to be in some more of our videos. Um, she's more comfortable in front of the camera than us, really. So, um, yeah. Uh, any questions, comments, hit that like button. We really appreciate it if you do. 
Also subscribe, of course, you know, because why not? You should have already done that. <laughs> um, yeah, and thank you guys. Uh, we have a lot more new subscribers, and I'd like to thank you for um, enjoying our content. And if you, like I said, have questions, comments, dislikes, leave it in the description below. Right on. Catch you all later. Peace out.